is a plethora of stakeholders and partners, including development partners, the United Nations, NGOs, the private sector, teachers, language experts, media, various representatives, civil society, as well as the government, under the presence of Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina, Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh. On behalf of UNESCO and the UNESCO Director General, Ms. Audrey Azoulay, allow me to express UNESCO's sincere appreciation to the government of Bangladesh, in particular the Ministry of Education and the International Mother Language Institute, in organizing the celebration of this important day this year under the theme Languages Without Borders. We are all well aware that it is thanks to the government of Bangladesh and your country's history that the world celebrates International Mother Language Day and on this specific date, 21st February. I am therefore honored to read out the message of Mrs. Audrey Osoley, Director General of UNESCO, on the occasion of International Mother Language Day 2020, and in particular, as you will not find the message this year in the souvenir, we were too late as UNESCO, I have to apologize. So I'm very honored to read out the message and share this with you. So I quote the Director General of UNESCO, underscoring the power of language to unite across divides, Octavio Paz, upon accepting the Nobel Prize for Literature said, languages are vast realities that transcend those political and historical entities we call nations. On this 22nd edition of International Mother Language Day, a day dedicated to all languages, UNESCO would like to highlight the unifying ability of mother tongues. By bringing their speakers closer together, by allowing them to flourish in a shared context, mother tongue generates social inclusion, innovation, and imagination. And our speaker has just alluded to these aspects. They also breathe life into cultural diversity and serve as instruments of peace. Moreover, mother tongues are valuable allies in our efforts to achieve quality education for all. In fact, as UNESCO studies have shown, studying in a language which is not one's own interferes with learning and increases inequalities. Yet, according to the most recent estimates, 40% of the world citizens find themselves in the situation. Bilingual or multilingual education based on students' mother tongue not only encourages learning, but also contributes to understanding and dialogue among people. For International Mother Language Day 2020, UNESCO has chosen the theme of languages without borders to draw attention to the way in which all languages including mother tongues, contribute to intercultural dialogue and peace. Indeed, throughout the world, numerous cross-border languages bring their speakers closer to one another, turning borders into bridges instead of barriers. And we have just heard our presenter from India. The Director General um, refers to examples of cross-border languages and languages of without borders in Africa and Latin America. As aptly put, she said, continues, by Vasilis Alexakis, in his book La Longue Maternelle, so the mother language, all languages teach us that we have roots more or less everywhere. Because languages, they are instruments of diversity and peace, it is important that we protect mother tongues, particularly those which are indigenous languages. In this context, in the International Year of Indigenous Languages, celebrated by UNESCO in 2019, provided an opportunity to rally the international community to support diversity essential in our world. A new chapter is beginning with this year's edition of International Mother Language Day. At UNESCO headquarters, several round tables will be held, or actually are being held today, to discuss how cross-border languages and mother tongues can further help to achieve sustainable development. In this same spirit, UNESCO encourages everyone to take advantage of International Mother Language Day to celebrate the richness of humanity's languages. So, end of quote of 
Director General of UNESCO. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude. The United Nations and especially UNESCO highly appreciate the efforts and commitment of the government of Bangladesh in the cause of mother languages as well as multilingual education and linguistic diversity embedded within the national planning and the Agenda 2030 SDG fulfillment of Bangladesh. This is also reinforced by Bangladesh with the establishment of the International Muslim Language Institute, IMLI, in 1999, our host today, which is also a UNESCO-affiliated so-called Category 2 Institute since November 2015. Let us take to heart the final words of UNESCO Director General in her message, a new chapter is beginning, she said, and I would like to reinforce and say that reinforce our efforts for Muslim languages, linguistic diversity and multilingual education in Bangladesh and start right here with IMLI. IMLI is an important international institute that caters not only to the national but to the international community in this context. So I would like to appeal also to Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Minister of Education and Deputy Minister, please let's make English stronger and showcase to the world the strengths of Bangladesh through all what we are doing, including strengthening IMLI.